felt like I got sniped from the rafters or something, you know. Um, just had a sharp pain come from my stomach, and I uh, just wanted the doctors to look at it. Uh, I looked, they looked at it and said I was fine. <laughs> I came back out, won the game, basically. No, no, no. Um, no, it was not an elbow to the groin. Talk about that last play. Did you do on the last play? Um, I know it was Sebastian, so I wanted to scoot up on him, trying to make him uh, drive the ball. Um, I was able to count his dribbles, and uh, it went, you know, one, two. I know he likes to cross over, so I just took a stab at it and got it, and then just dove for it. I knew time was running down. And I just wanted to be aggressive on the ball, and I, and I was. Talking about those games, was this one of those games where the final buzzer goes off and you feel fortunate to escape with a win? I mean, yeah, basically the way we played all night, uh, we couldn't get into no rhythm of offense. We turned the ball over a lot. And uh, we understand Minnesota was going to come in real emotional about the trades. You could see how excited they were um, with every shot with this, they made, with every big play they made. And... Uh, we got to be ready for that because the type of energy they showed, every team was going to show that. And uh, but at the end of the day, we got the win and we'll take it. No, um, I wasn't going to do anything that was going to jeopardize uh, my future and all that. But um, you know, my my philosophy has always been: if I can play, if I can run, if I can move, if I can blink, if I can wake up in the morning, I can play. <laughs> so uh, I wasn't sure what the score was. Um, I can hear the guys in there watching on the two. So uh, knowing that um, I wasn't um, playing well or we wasn't playing well, I wanted to come out and try to give them my, uh, some energy. And knowing that I was able, probably uh, not at 100%, I knew that I can put forth an effort. Um, that um, And sometimes that's, that's enough, you know, to come out and not just be able to score, but to give uh, energy. Whether it's on defensive end, offensive end, I came in, got a couple of rebounds, and then I uh, thought I did um, was aggressive on the ball in the in the game, which uh, I felt like sealed the win for us. How long did you have the pain? Um, it wasn't like I had a stopwatch or something, and I was like, I I, I don't I don't know, my man, I I didn't time it, I didn't one one thousand, two one thousand, <laughs> it wasn't like that. It did was. You yes. Yes. That's just my second, but uh, it feels good. Um, you know, we've um, ticked off about the uh, Toronto game. You know, obviously we watch film. We always want to learn from our um, mistakes and mishaps. And, um, you know, just like Paul said, this team, this is a really emotional game, you know, just because of the history between these two teams. And I feel like for the most part we didn't play good basketball at all. Um, but we'll get better. We get better. We got a we got a big uh, road trip coming up. Um, I'm sure tomorrow we'll work on some things and uh, try to get better again. So it was a good win for us. It wasn't the best, but it's a win. I mean, you can see it in our uh, shoot around. Perk was up for the challenge. You know, as you know, they were good friends while we were on the team, and <clears throat> whenever they matched up in practice, uh, it was always a battle. Uh, you know, probably Perk knows Al just as good as anyone else uh, on the team by being in practice with him every day. So he accepted the challenge. I thought he did a great job on him, uh, making it tough on Al because, you know, Al is, a, is an up-and-coming all-star in this league. I mean, the way he can put the ball in the basket in the low posts, uh, night in and night out, you know, he's definitely improving. But Perk was big on both ends of the court. Uh, he's been getting it done lately offensively. Uh, especially when other guys are struggling, and uh, the opportunities are going to be there for him, and he's taking advantage of them. Does he have room to improve? Absolutely. Uh, he works really hard on this offensive game, but the best thing about him is that he understands his role to come in, set picks, rebound, um, be a defensive presence. Um, and then that we we try to reward him with you know dunks and uh, handoffs and I I told him since day one I came in here you know because we had a little history <laughs> um, that um, 
you know, I'm, I'm for him. I'm going to help him. I'm going to make him better. And uh, since day one, I've done that. Him and I are probably <clears throat> we communicate better than anybody on the team just because we are the two big men and we feel like we are the front line. And at the end of the day, we have to protect the paint. So, um, yeah, um, I, I think he has a lot a lot of <clears throat> to his offensive game, but he understands his role and being on this team. Uh, I'm really, I'm really tell you the truth, man. I really didn't have a lot of emotion to be honest with y'all, man. I'm just knowing I was out there playing, not 100%, and uh, we had to fall back from being down and the emotions in the building. And, you know, Sebastian is very, very quick. And if I miss that still, then who knows? But um, I got my hands on it. I was able to, like I said, count his dribble and, uh, I got to win. I got on the floor. I had to get dirty, <laughs> as we say. And now uh, we got to win, man. That wasn't the uh, that wasn't storybook, but um, a win's a win, man. It wasn't our best basketball, so I think everybody was feeling me. You know, at the end, Twist, Paul, everybody. Yeah, I was feeling me chanting my name. <laughs> I'm in Boston. I'm not, I'm not concerned with, I don't play for Minnesota anymore. I'm in Boston. And we was at home. It was a huge win. It's nothing personal.